Welcome one and all to a new video series here on the Gaming Blind with Samuel Bam YouTube channel. Today and occasionally I am going to be doing something called what I'm going to be calling the Double Blind Trials, which is going to be me trying out games in my quite frankly frightening backlog and playing them for a little while, seeing if I like them and if I would like to continue them or if I think I'm good after 10 minutes. So the reason that I decided to do this, and I know I'm going to, I'm stalling because I just want to explain what's going on here with this new series, is that when uh, there were a couple of large game bundles that I bought last year, there was the Ichio bundle for racial justice and equality that I bought, and that bundle in and of itself had somewhere in the vicinity of a thousand games in it, and... I've wanted for a long time to say, like, I've been telling myself, oh, you know, I really want to be able to play and beat every game that I own before I die. That's not going to happen. I've, I've kind of have to accept the fact that there's no way I'm going to be able to play and beat every single game that I own before I die. So I would like to make it a goal to at least try to play every game that I own before I die, which is still kind of a monumental task because at last count, if I... If I did this, if I played a new game every single day, if I did a video of it, if I played a new game every day, it would take me somewhere in the vicinity of eight years to complete this task. So you can understand why I've pretty much decided, well, I need to start playing games. <laughs> Whether or not I play them for 10 minutes or an hour or whatever, that's, that's beyond the point. I just really want to at least try every game that I own and if I enjoy it, maybe it'll become something that I want to try and beat. And if it's something that I hate, then you'll get to see how much you see the vit you'll see the vitriol. So anyway, I'm not doing myself any favors by buying new games because yesterday and just for context, uh, this is uh, I'm recording this two days after this game came out. This is Loop Hero, which is a Devolver Digital game or published by Devolver Digital. And it's I, I don't it's like a card building a card building game where you have to, you know, help your hero survive. A loop, apparently. Uh, let's see. The stars in the sky are going out, one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before... before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will still will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I, I, can't, I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. So I will tell you right now that I tried, not for very long, but I tried to find a, uh, a video of this game that was sort of like a, a complete first impressions I have no experience with the game, so I'm going in totally blind. I couldn't find any, because all the videos that I could find were of people who had been playing, like, demo builds of the game for, like, a week or two before the game came out. So they're like, all right, the game's officially out. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And then it's like, I beat the game in 20 minutes. Like, what about people who don't know how the game works? <laughs> like, slow down, you're moving too fast. So that's one reason why I wanted to make this video. Also, the game intrigues me, so I decided I want to go ahead and play this game. Okay, and forgive me for using a different uh, text than, or te a font than the, the default font, but I couldn't read it, quite frankly. So, here we go. The change between adventure, traveling through the map, and, and uh, planning, stop, oh, stop mode, story mode, no, stop mode, sorry. Uh, press the switch, right click or space. Continue your journey by uh, by changing the game mode. Okay, so we'll press space. And there we go. 
Hope, it'll, hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. Uh, if such thing... If, wait, sorry. If such thing as a night even... I'm having a hard time reading, sorry. Such as the such thing as a night still even exists without a sky, of course. I wonder if I can press space to continue. No, I can't. Okay, it's just a click, I guess. I wonder if this game has controller support. I didn't bother to look it up. Okay, is it a new day, I guess? Pay attention to the day, prog day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by, uh, by changing the game mode, space or right click, uh, mode switch. Is there like a switch thing that I can do? I don't know. So where is the bar, the progress bar? <laughs> if I hover over things, will it tell me what they are? Uh, map completion. Uh, let's see. When this bar is filled, oops. Hey, hold on. I want to read that. I get a chance to read the whole thing. Game, please. Um, when this bar is filled up, boss of the chapter will appear. Oh, that's not good. What is this? Oh, game speed. Okay. I don't think I need to worry about that too much. Okay, is that switch between adventure? Okay, that's good to know that that's there. Planning. So is it over here somewhere? I heard a I heard a rooster. Loop counter. Okay. It must be over here somewhere that I'm just not. Oh, there's day progress. Okay, now I know. See, this is why I do this because I wanted to make sure what I'm doing. Also, I'm leaning super close into the monitor because it's hard for me to see things. Oh, are we? What's happening? A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they they can. Hey, I remember. I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory, and everything will be back to normal. Okay. Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. Ow. What? Dude, calm down. Okay. We defeated the slime. Thank goodness. That was that was terrifying for a second. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the in the remains of that thing that's not fully digested. Is is there? What are we doing? Uh, you uh, you have an inventory and an item slot. You know what to do. Uh, equip an item to continue. So does it tell us? Okay, so it tells us what it is. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Grove. This is so hard. It's so small. The text is so small. Sorry. Uh, a gentle rustle of leaves, uh, a crack of the dry branch, the feeling of being watched. Spawns a rand uh, spawns a rat wolf. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. Uh, the wolf can move to an adjacent tile. What the hell is a rat wolf? <clears throat> okay. I don't have any. Is this an item? This must not be an item, right? Uh, hold on. I'm I'm mildly confused. Do, do I have to like drag it here or something? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay. I I finally kind of understand. Sorry, I didn't realize there was an item here. Duh. Okay. Uh, stats. Oh, it doesn't actually tell me. Oh, four to six damage, I guess. Okay. There we go. See, this is again, because this is the kind of thing that I have to deal with when I'm playing a game for the first time, is I have to figure out where things are on the screen and what's happening. So, you know, if this is boring to you, then I'm sorry, but this is how I play games. Okay. Sorry, I had to stop for a second. Um, I think I remember there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories? Or do they belong to that slime? Ooh, wow, that's that's scary to think about. Uh, you can see cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. Okay, so do I have to put it specifically here? I guess I do, because it won't let, doesn't seem seemingly won't let me put it anywhere else. I guess. Okay, so that gets put on the loop. Interesting. Good. Now continue your journey. So I just right-click to continue my journey. Okay, I can see the progress bar up there filling up. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. And we're fighting the wolf. We beat the wolf. I'm a little surprised, but we did. Forest. Yeah, forest rat wolf. That could be a good name for a... I don't know what. Somebody. I was right. 
some some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten, like a like a but like a bad dream. So did I get stuff for fighting that, for defeating that wolf? I assume I did. Or remember it as a bad... Damn. It's good that nobody's listening. <laughs> Except for me. Okay. So day is paused for the moment, it looks like. Uh, you can get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item or a card... You can inspect its properties, equip a new weapon, and place a new card in the map to continue. So what did we get here? So we got an axe, it looks like. So that does quite a bit more damage than the sword we have. Okay. So I guess we equip that. So do we just lose the sword? I guess it just disappears forever. Okay, good to know, I suppose. All right, what do we have here? We have a rock, plus two HP. Uh, it's magnificent appearance gives you strength plus two hp plus two more hp for every adjacent rock or mountain so i guess that's adjacent to that card i guess we have a forest plus one percent hero attack speed neat okay so oh okay so we can put this like anywhere practically interesting okay so it's like you have to sort of plan how to build the world around you in addition to like your character. Okay, let's put the forest a little far away. Okay. Uh, you can get new items. Oh, I guess we'll just do both of these then. Let's put them a little bit far away from each other because um, if I want to put the... Um, if I want to put those things... want to get like more rocks or mountains, I'd like to put them closer to each other. So, okay. Okay, great. So there was a mountain over there. And here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Okay. Okay, let's continue the game. There we go. I'm going to wander around. New day. Ooh, what was that? I think it's time to get some rest. I mean, you have been adventuring for three days straight without any sleep, so I suppose that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, let's see. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. Uh, you can retreat at almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. Which button? Where's the button that we have to press to go? Um, oh, down there. Okay. I guess that's the animation that means we can leave. I guess we're going to go. That's really hard to read. Uh, I don't know if they give you an option to change, like, font color, but white text on a gray background for me is extremely hard to read. So, I don't know. That's actually... This is super hard to read. Sorry. Uh, the thought of leaving the battle... No, sorry. Battlefield is going... Uh, and going back to your cozy camp. Sorry, I'm going to try to read this, so I'm sorry it's going to take me 45 minutes to read this, but we got, I have to read it just to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. Um, the cozy camp is passed, uh, passed through your mind. This is so hard to read. Sorry. Uh, what a timely ideal. No. Yeah, timely idea. Uh, the camp is just around the corner. Okay. Retreat. Uh, you keep all your resources. Okay. I, well, I mean, I guess that's the whole idea is that we're supposed to retreat. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm assuming I won't have to read that message again because it's real hard to read. It's cold and dark here. Small fire will uh, solve both these problems. Uh, nice place to set up camp. This music reminds me a lot of the music in um, Oregon Trail Director's Cut. I don't know if it's the same people who did that, but... It's also a very similar aesthetic to that game. Uh, let's see. Nice place to set up camp. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Uh, who would have thought? You have just enough uh, wood and stone to... Oh, okay, because I guess from from the from the mountain or from the rock in the forest, I guess. Most enough wood and stone to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Uh, build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. Press the build button, select the campfire, and place it. 
Where's the build button? Oh, that's the build button. So we build. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So there's multiple things we can build. There's a refuge, uh, field kitchen. Okay. Uh, okay, that's the campfire. So we need more stuff in order to be able to build all these other things, obviously. Herbalist hut. Okay. Smithy, uh, smelter, and farm. Okay. So we just click this. Okay. And we just place it wherever we want, or do we put it here specifically? Let's just click there. Okay. Cool. Uh, congratulations, you've beaten this annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition, or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm not prepared for the rest of the game, but okay. Uh, so we don't have any other stuff, so we can't really do anything. Do we click that? What do we do? I've completed the tutorial. Now what do I do? I can't read that at all. That is impossible to read. I think it just tells me what the what the campfire does, right? Um, what do I do? Help! I'm 10 minutes into this game. I'm 15 minutes into this game and I have no idea what to do. Um, do I have to like click something over here? I can't build anything else. I guess I go to the expedition. I guess I go back to expedition? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to read this because this is going to take me five hours to read otherwise. Okay, sorry, that didn't take quite as long as I thought. I was just trying to read what the campfire does. So the hero, okay, so the hero, hero regains 20% of his maximum HP when he returns to camp. Okay, so I guess we're done. We can just go back to expedition, I guess. That's what it seems like anyway. I think that's the whole point, right? Is you just you just keep going until, uh... okay. I like the aesthetics of this game a lot. Oh, there's more. Okay, the loop has grown. This path. Everything is wrong. But I remember. So, okay. It looks like a completely different place. And it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like, I, like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior of, of all. Let's do it. Okay. So, I guess every time we camp, it, uh... Things regenerate, or not regenerate, but um, things sort of just uh, change from what they were. So we're going to fight stuff. We gain equipment. Did I save my equipment? Okay, hold on. Two seconds. I want to see what happens. So we lost our equipment, too. Okay, interesting. But we gained some stuff. What did we gain here? So plus five HP for each adjacent rock. Okay, so it's another mountain. And a meadow heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Okay, that seems like it could be pretty useful. Um, I'm not going to camp yet because, uh, you know, we're, we just started the, the start of this expedition. So, okay. Let's place the meadow um, inside? Sure, why not? And let's place this rock there and continue. We're fighting another slime. We're doing okay HP-wise. Not amazing, but... Okay, we got a battle axe, so we're going to... So HP... Oh, plus two HP per day. I like that. Okay, cool. New day. So we got some HP back from the meadow. And we're fighting another slime. Okay, hold on. What did I get here? What do we have here? Uh, we have a battlefield. Okay. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Uh, enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. Um, oh, enemies on adjacent... Okay, I see, I see, I see. So it has to be... Interesting. So I probably should put this where there are... Not that many tiles that an enemy can become a ghost, I guess. Hmm. What if I put it, like, way up here? I'd only put it where, like, two enemies can become ghosts. Let's try it. 
I don't know where I am though. <laughs> I'm totally lost. Or my characters. Oh, there he is. Okay. There's a slime right there. Uh oh. It's getting close to that battlefield. That's not good. Right at the beginning of a day. Okay, good. Okay, what did we get here? Get another get another rock. That's good. Plus two HP, plus two more HP for every Okay, so it's adjacent to another. So I might as well go ahead and put this here next to the other rocks. We get more HP. And continue. Another slime. We're doing okay HP wise, it seems like anyway. I don't know if we actually are, but it seems like it's okay. We got more rocks. Oh, sorry, that's a mountain. It's 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. We have a road lantern. Okay. Decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect of lanterns can stack. Okay. So what I actually should have done with this mount, this rock here, is I probably should have put it like to a diagonal because I can't take full advantage of the mountain, but that's okay. And let's see. Lantern. I'm going to actually put the lantern next to the battlefield. So hopefully that'll be more beneficial. I don't know. It's all about experimentation with this game. It feels like to me is, you know, I don't know. I don't know particularly well how the game functions. Like I kind of get it, but I also don't know what exactly to expect in here. So, okay, we have a grove. Uh, okay, so spawns a rat wolf every two days. Okay, wolf can move in an adjacent. Wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Okay, let's keep that kind of far away from the uh, from the battlefield. I guess I still don't know what that whole. Um, I don't quite know what the whole battlefield turning uh, monsters into ghost things is, but oh, right. Sorry, I should probably not be in uh, planning mode, huh? Here we go. Much better. I don't know what happened there. I also don't know how long I should just keep going. Should I just, like, keep going for a while? I guess we just continue for a while until, uh... Oh, it actually says, um... Did I die? Oh, no. It, okay, it paused because I hovered over it. Okay. Tax per second. Artificial life. Okay, neat. Okay, I can actually see how much... Uh, doesn't tell me how much HP I have, but I have plenty, I think. I think we're okay for the moment. Okay, no equipment. We have another mountain. Interesting. And a treasury. Okay, what is this? Uh, there's a random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile. Oops, moved my mouse cursor. Uh, can't be built adjacent to anything. So, gives a random resource after placing anything on adjacent. So, this thing, I guess it has to be away from everything, but... Okay, so it, ha so it can't be next to anything, but if you, if you place stuff next to it afterwards, then you get stuff. Okay, interesting. So, I wish I hadn't put all these things... I wish I hadn't just immediately put everything down right here, but... Oh, well. It's okay. We know now. I'm going to put it up here. And let's put this mountain uh, over here so it's next to two more things. Or I could put it next to the... Let's let's put it here so I can just get way more HP. Yeah? Yeah. Let's give it a try. All right. So there's a slime down there. Are we going to get a new day so I can fight a rat wolf? Apparently not. Okay. We're okay. Okay. Oops, I didn't actually bother to see what my, um... It would have evaded my attacks. It has a lot of HP. Uh, oh, it has qualities. Living and has a soul. Okay. It's, uh... This thing is kicking my ass. Okay, we got it eventually. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we got a bunch of equipment. I gotta look at this for two seconds here. Uh, okay. So 8 to 12 damage, plus 38 max HP, plus 2 HP per day. Okay. Uh, eight to oh, wait. Are these the same? Did I get two of the same thing? Okay. Weird, but okay. No, this is different. 
plus 13 evasion plus 2 HP. Can I de-equip this? No, I can't. Okay, I didn't realize that. So, oh, okay. I, I'm very confused. I'm so confused by what is going on here. Uh, okay, let's just forget about it for the moment. Okay, another mountain. So, okay, we have another mountain. We have a rock and we have a beacon. Plus 40% movement speed within its range, plus 20% attack speed for all units. Is that while it's still in range? I don't know. But what I think I'm going to do is we're going to build this mountain next to this other mountain and also next to that. And I don't know what I got. <laughs> um, does it actually show me what resources I have? Show and hide resources. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, where, <laughs> where are, where is, um, oh, right here. Sorry. Okay. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it doesn't tell me what they are unless, oh no, it's, I'm hovering over. No. Okay. No, it is. Sorry. Um, stable branches, preserved pebbles, 10 pieces of pebble, f one preserved rock. Okay. We have a ration. 12 rations form a whole food supply. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's put this... I don't know where. I don't have to. I know I don't have to put things where I... You know, I don't have to put them all down if I don't want to. But I do want to also... Well, you know what? Let's... Let's put that there, because I think that maybe that'll give me additional HP, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Beacon. Uh, ooh. All right. So it... Okay, so it has a two-tile radius, it looks like. Okay. So if I put it, like, down here near that den, then it will give me more benefits when I have to fight the rat. The were... Or not were rats. Wolf rats, whatever they were called. I don't remember. Oh, whoops. It's hovering over the hero. We're getting pretty badly injured, it looks like, right about now. Uh, okay. I can minimize that. What did we get? We got another, another rock. In that case, let's put it here. So you get some more, you get even more rocks. What the heck is that up there? I don't know. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Ah, so confused. What? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff. I didn't see what it was. Did we get anything else? Oops. Just trying to pause there. But instead we're fighting a slime. I should probably go back and heal eventually. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of stuff here. Whoa. What is all of this? Why doesn't it tell me what these are when I hover over that? That's... Uh, here. Oh, it does tell me what my health points are. Okay, so I have 23. I honestly don't know what's happening here. <laughs> didn't mean to, I did not mean to pause there. Uh, okay. So I don't have any armor, so I might as well put something on there. Well, that's a shield, okay. Does it tell me, like... Can I wear multiple... Are those rings? Can I wear more than one of these? Doesn't look like it, but I honestly can't tell for sure. I, I can't tell. And I hate to say that sort of thing, but I honestly can't tell what exactly needs to be done here like it, it seems like if i if i put a new ring on then it just the other one goes away this one says three i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'll just continue with this we've got an okay amount of hp manageable amount of hp nice nice double dodge okay what is is this thing taking any damage from me right now not a lot. Okay, so the enemies are definitely getting a lot stronger as time goes by. 
Um, max HP plus 233. Oh, it says it over there on the... Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't notice it was saying all that stuff over there on the left. I'm dumb. Sorry. You have to bear with me. Okay, so that's just... I really need a better weapon is what I really need. Okay, so shield is defense plus 4. Armor... Max HP 160. Okay, that's max HP. Okay. Defense 2, counter plus 9%. So this is thir plus 13 evasion. That one's just max HP 83, so that's just worse than what I have. Uh, attack speed plus 4%, counter plus 8, plus 7, evasion plus 6. Okay. That ring is 2 magic damage, 2 damage to all, plus 5 counter. I think this I think this ring is honestly better just because it's better attack speed better and a counter percentage. Even if my evasion goes down by six percent, I think this is a better ring. To me, that's a better ring. This is a worse piece of armor. I wonder if I can sell these or can I destroy these to get extra stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's continue. Something happened. Are these slimes getting like these slimes are definitely getting a lot stronger. Yeah. I like the fact that the that it it stops. Oh crap, there's a I have a whole bunch of cards down here. because uh, I beat some stuff earlier. I forgot about all the stuff that I could have had. Okay. So what do we have here? Spawns a skeleton every three days. Okay. Mm. Okay, so it's another beacon. Uh, another grove. Spawns a rat wolf. I don't know if I want to use these right now. Add vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. That sounds terrifying, and I don't want that. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Okay, another grove. Another rock. Okay. So... So the grove has to be on the path. If I just put the groves together, would that be just a really bad idea? I think it might be. <laughs> Let's put them a little bit further apart. Not super far apart, but far enough apart, I guess, that it'll maybe not be terrifying. I want this skeleton every three days. Oops, I accidentally right clicked. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to have to be patient with me here. Let's do this. So we get additional resources and we get extra HP. What was this ring, by the way? Damage to all. Okay. I, I don't really want to lose like a bunch of other stuff. 185 max HP. But the other armor that I have um, gives you a 9% extra counter and plus 2 defense. I kind of like that more right now. Yeah, we're going to leave those rings there. Those are useless rings. Those are useless items, it feels like to me. As vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Do I do I want to risk this? I'm really curious, like, what's going to happen? So I'm just going to... I'm going to do it, because I just want to know what's going to happen here. <laughs> I have to know. Skeleton? Let's put it over here, I guess. Again, I don't know. And let's see, do we want to put a beacon down? Let's put a beacon down, like... Uh, you know, I can put it next to the... I think that's next to the other thing, right? It's not going to be super beneficial, but I get more stuff. Ooh, is that a... Okay, I've got a, I've got a preserved rock. Very cool. And another grove. I'm going to leave that for now, I think. I don't know. I don't know what the right call is at all. <laughs> like for any of these. If I could get a better weapon, that'd be really nice. But I've just had like a crappy weapon this whole time. Okay. What did we get? We got a mountain and a meadow. Those are very good. That's a that's a nice looking shield. Let's see. Defense seven. What was this one? Defense four. I will take the upgrade. Thank you very much. Okay. And I think. It would be a good idea to put another mountain down, like right there. Okay, that's just increasing my max HP. I'm finally kind of understanding that. For some reason, I was thinking it was you get HP back. I was obviously very wrong. Okay, let's put another meadow down, get some more HP at the start of each day. 
Okay, nice. So I, I can see that I'm moving a little bit faster than I was before. Oh, crap. There's multiple enemies. Oh, geez. Oh, that's different. Interesting. And it also... Okay, so time continues to pass when you're even fighting in a battle. That makes sense. Okay, that was scary because I didn't know you could fight multiple enemies. Now I understand why it says damage to all. Magic damage and vampirism. Mm, okay. This ring was attack speed, counter and evasion. I kind of like the vampirism thing. It sounds like it could be pretty useful. Uh, spider cocoon. Sounds awful. Spawns a spider on an adjacent tile once a day. Let's see. Okay, plus five more HP for this mountain. Might as well, right? Again, it's not like it's going to help out that much, but... You know. Uh, I'm tempted by this ring. The vampirism and the magic damage. I'm going to give it a try. We'll try it. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're, we're not doing super fantastic on HP. Right? I can't read it. I honestly can't friggin' read it. It's hard to see. Okay. S couple slimes. Okay, we got one of them. I should probably go back and heal, honestly. Go back and rest, because I'm at a little bit of a low amount of HP, right? I mean, I'm at about half. It's not too bad. Oblivion uh, erases any established tiles, erases monsters from the map. Uh, I don't really think I want to do that. Let's see. Do another mountain? Let's do another mountain. Got a bunch of them. I might as well just put a bunch more, right? Oh, we collect resources every time. Oh, I finally understand. Vaguely, slightly, kind of, a little bit. Why I should put down groves is because I get resources every time I walk past them. Okay, it took me this long to realize that. Sorry. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that was the Oblivion. Another rock. I can't put these on the map, right? No, it has to be in somewhere else. Okay, that's fine. Let's put that there. Um, In that case, let's put this grove, like, here? I guess? What is this? Alright, the Oblivion. Duh. Um... Let's put the... This is starting to get a little bit hairy. Let's put the spider den here. Give it a try. Okay. Oh, wait. I got a bunch more equipment. Hold on a second. Holy crap. I'm getting so much stuff. Okay. That's max HP. Okay. Regen per second. Ooh, I like that. That sounds pretty useful. Armor max HP 171. Uh... I like the defense and the counter, though. So the question is, do I want to do regeneration? Or do I want to keep the vampirism and magic damage? I'm going to keep the magic damage for the moment. We'll just see how it goes. Okay. Slime and a treasure chest. Okay. What do we get out of the treasure chest? Bunch of resources. Very nice. Okay, we have another mountain. Okay. Might as well, all right. Next to a bunch more things. Or just one, I guess. And holy crap, we have so many things. Okay, is that a new weapon? We finally have a new weapon option. Thank goodness. Um, 10 to 16 and a 9% vampirism. Okay. Or uh, scimitar, 9 to 13 damage, plus 6% attack speed, plus 7% evasion. I like that. It's a lot better than four to six damage. That's the first weapon we've seen, right? This whole time. Let's let's go with let's try the scimitar first. We'll see how it works. Um, what? Stop! Why am I stopping? Oh, it's a it's a goblin or a gremlin looking thingy down there. What do I have? Why, what's happening? Where do these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want? Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objections here. Uh, this seems like it's probably going to be bad. 
Now wait, I do have one. How about... I have to beat this, uh... That thing is attacking very quickly. I think I'm still gonna win. Okay, we won. Cool. It's strange how these... Strange how these creatures appear here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad. And that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the, even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Okay, so we beat goblins. I guess that's a good thing, right? What do we get here? We got another beacon. We got a meadow. I really should probably rest after that, because we, we did get pretty beaten up right there. We still had a decent amount of HP, but we did get beaten up pretty severely at that moment. At that, um, in that, that area. Another meadow. 2 HP at the start of each day. I'm starting to think that 2 HP is um, not all that impressive, considering we have like 500 and something HP. <laughs> okay, what do we get for a weapon here? Okay, so just a Gladius, it's just damage. So nothing particularly impressive there. Uh, another spider den? I mean, sure. I guess. Give it a try. I don't remember where I put the first one, but whatever. No big deal. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Uh, beacon? Sure. Let's put the beacon right there, right next to the spider den, for the heck of it. Okay. I'm curious about this oblivion thing. What's happening? Oh, that's he's different. Um, back off, human. A vampire. Uh oh. Maybe I shouldn't have put that vampire thing down. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. I think I'm going to die here. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me, and I will set this humble, I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not for just myself, but for everyone, in the name of good. So be grateful my hand so be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed oh that's that's the that's the vampire still sorry so be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry I think I'm going to die to this guy I have a pretty strong feeling I'm going to die to this guy cuz he's only doing 2 damage to me so it's not horrible Okay we beat the vampire somehow Empires often owned any owned, owned our lands. Sorry, um, they kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just now they're just paid shadows of the former. Of the, wow, sorry, pale shadows of their former selves, uh, both physically and mentally. But apparently, the blood of other creatures can, can can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand. Uh, stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone's someone else's life. Good to know. So other creatures that are near a vampire. Whoops! Didn't actually mean to go into this fight with spiders. Um, I absolutely did not mean to go into this fight. Okay. Pause, please. Now we're going back. I think that's now is a good time to go back because we uh we got the crap kick out of us there. Look at all this stuff. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. Okay, so we have a ring, attack speed plus 12. That's not bad. Uh, let's see, damage to all 2, defense 2, attack speed plus 4, counter plus 9. Okay. I don't know if that's 9% counter or if it means... Uh, or if it means that you counter attack for that much of a percentage of your HP. I'm not sure which one that means. Okay. Uh, another cemetery. Another meadow. Two more meadows. Okay, I think now is probably a good time to camp, right? Let's go back to camp. Because we did, uh... We were pretty low on HP. It feels like, anyway. So we've collected 
I will lose. Okay, hold on a second. Why do I lose that? Hold on. Sorry. You keep 60% of all... Well, I don't want to keep 60%. I want to keep all my stuff. Oh, I guess because I have to wait for this thing to, to be, like, animated before I can get all my stuff back, I guess? I'll stick around for a little while, but I'm not expecting to live very long. Uh, oh, damn it. I thought, I thought I saw the animation there, but... It's not animating, which worries me. That I might die. I may just have to leave. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm getting worried now because I don't want to die before I lose all my stuff. Uh, armor, sword, twenty to thirty damage. That's quite a lot better than that. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna leave because I don't quite know what I need to do here. I'm I know I'm gonna lose some stuff, but I'm at like very low HP and I don't want to die, so I'm going to go ahead and retreat. And I'm going to see what the heck is happening here. Uh, oh, hi. Who are you? I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. The boys returned. Oh, the boys managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Well, that's great. Where did you come from? Is this still a place without a darkness? Uh, we don't know where we came from. Uh, or we can't. Or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned uh, luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs, of pre new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even... I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time reading this for some reason. Um, have ever been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day, and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the, uh, forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part, that's the part I still remember. Nobody else's, uh, nobody else's memory is much better in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I managed to return? That means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We all saw you leave. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could, pre we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in this, in this dark time. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. Uh, I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point There's no point to it uh, without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us. And we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return for us. Oh, return, but for us, the group is too the group. The group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to, a place where I can hear other people's voices. Huh. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survive of the, catacly the cataclysm and didn't vanish. Oh, wow, and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Okay, so I think they gave me something, but I don't know what it was. Okay, so we have a we have some stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, statistics. Okay, interesting. I'm not going back on the expedition because I'll die. But let's see. What can we build here? We can build a bunch of things if we really want to. Okay. So campfire increases 20 or er, uh, heals me for 20% of my HP. 
Okay, so I guess I can... Maybe I can only build a certain number of these items, I guess, at a time. God, this is so hard to read. Sorry. This is so hard to read. Ugh. Okay. Uh, potion heals 4% of maximum HP. Uh, you can take up to three potions with you. Okay. That seems pretty useful. I will probably build an herbalist's thing. Okay, it actually tells you... I guess it tells you what you need in order to build one. Or can I not build... I, okay, I need I need more of those, I guess, before I can build another one. See what it seems like, anyway. Uh, so I, these aren't even... They're, like, just still darkened out, so I guess I can't do anything with those. So what is this? Field... Oh, Field Kitchen. Okay. Uh, plus 10% to campfires. Uh, okay, Healing Power... Unlocks... Oh, okay. Unlocks the Blood Grove card. Okay. So I guess I can't do anything with these because I don't have... Because I don't have whatever materials are necessary for them. I can't do those. I guess I'll... I might as well do a, do a field kitchen, right? And I don't know if it's benef more beneficial to put them, like, next to a bunch of things or... In a separate area? I don't know. Or can I not put it there? Did I mess up? Did I ruin everything? <laughs> um, what is happening right now? Oh, survivors, okay. Uh, oh, survivors' tents, sorry. Uh, can't be destroyed, okay. Uh, but it's. Inhabitants will... Okay. Okay. Inhabitants will gladly move. Okay. Okay. So I guess that's what just all of these are. They're all just survivor's tents, it looks like. Right around the campfire, it looks like. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, in that case, let's try again to build one of these. Um, will it go here, next to the campfire? Or will I need to put it somewhere else? I also don't... It doesn't necessarily say it needs to be adjacent to the campfire, right? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm obviously not understanding this correctly, I guess. Maybe I just need to... Hold on. Does it need to have a specific amount of space around it, I guess? Why isn't it letting me do this? I know this is probably extremely obvious for someone who's played the game at all, but, like, I don't get it. I'm not following. Do I just have to put it, like, anywhere? It's not letting me do the thing. I don't get it. I super don't get it. <laughs> like, it looks like I have the resources necessary to build one of these. Because, like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Or do I have to put it... Oh, okay, I see. I finally friggin' get it. I'm sorry. I have to actually put it right next to the campfire. I have to put it immediately adjacent to the campfire. Okay, fine. Sorry. I had to figure it out for myself. Uh, let's see. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What? You're waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, and a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes, and everyone, no, and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, followed, uh, following the tasty smell of a good stew. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, is that all I can do for now? Because it looks like, I'm assuming, but it says zero, one out of one, that I can't build more than one of these. No, it's not letting me. Okay. So, I guess we're done with that. We can't build anything else. Um, so, do I have to go back for the expedition? I don't know. Seems like it. Like, I, I don't think I can do anything else. So, I guess... I think we'll probably call it here. Because the episode's been going on for a while. But, this is interesting. I will definitely continue playing this game. Uh, I don't know if... 
I don't know when, but yeah, this is interesting. So thank you everybody for tuning into this initial episode of the Double Blind Trials. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more of this. And I will talk to you all next time.